Welcome in, baseball fans, and here in New York, we've got baseball on the show. It's the Kansas City Royals taking on the New York Yankees. John Shabby and Chris Singleton with you. So the New York Yankees have taken the first two games of this series, and today they'll go for the sweep. They played well, Chris, and they're looking for more of the same in this one. Yeah, they've been the side shaking hands on the field after each game so far. Played solid baseball to earn those wins, as you said, but every game offers up its own unique challenges. So we'll see what those are today, but there's always a little extra motivation when you have an opportunity to sweep a series. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, ready to go here. Here's the third baseman, number 11. On the ground right side. Gathers yep. and throws to first. One out in the top of the first. And now it's Kyle Isbell. Now a drag bunt, third base side. And foul ball. Going oh, two now. The punch out there. Two away. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow it just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate. And well, he's under it to make the catch in center. And stepping in for the Yankees, Alex Verdugo. And singing, we already know he's going to finish the season with a new career high in home runs. And that one in the air center field. And Verdugo is set down. One down. Here's one solo. The right field. Oh. And takes low for ball one. One out, base is empty. Oh. And another ball. And that clips the inside corner. One down, base is empty. In the air, out towards left center. Melendez pulls it in for the out. And there are two outs. Batting third, the, the center fielder. Aaron. Here is Aaron Judge. Yeah. Two for eight in the series so far. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. Out to short. Witt over to first. Judge out on the play. That's the top of the second. Now it'll be the cleanup hitter for the Royals, Hunter Renfro. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Well, we're expecting to see strikeouts in this one. Cole is in the 2,000 strikeout club and only needed around 1,700 innings to get there. You know, only Chris Sale and Pedro Martinez needed fewer innings to reach 2,000 strikeouts. And there's a foul ball. The line of the pitch. Goes down looking. Well, he's got great strikeout stuff on the mound, doesn't he? I mean, double-digit strikeouts in his last start, and he's just racking them up again in this one. This guy can really dominate a game out there. Not a fun assignment for any lineup. Next offering is in for a strike. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Has it offered on either one of those pitches? 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder up there. And down on strikes. And there are two down. Off to a strong start, Singy, as he's punched out three of the first five he's faced. Well, he's definitely minimizing contact. He can get the swing and miss when he needs it, but he'll also keep the defense fresh behind him, allowing some balls in play as well. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And good work there. Back here in New York, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the second baseman, Glaber Torres. And that one ripped to left. And a quick out, number one. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. Three for eight in the series coming in. Smash to center, way back, and you can forget it. Home run. He sends it out of here. His 72nd home run of the season. It's 1-0.
He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Really great job of anticipation there. He knows he throws the sinker. That one down in the zone. You're trying to beat it to the spot it's getting to. Well, he won. Here's Jose Trevino. Really strong hitting performance recently. Hits in each of the last six games. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Swings through that. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. Struck him out swinging. Throws the first in time. You, know, Boog, you often think of sliders more for that horizontal movement, but most of the good ones have both vertical depth and that horizontal movement, and that's what we saw right there. Good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. There's a swing and a drive. Melendez reaching back towards the wall makes the catch up against the wall in foul territory Yankees draw first blood on a solo shot it's now one nothing Major League Baseball is on the show back in the Bronx out of the third inning and here is MJ Melendez Cole in his 12th season 33 years old and of course has a Cy Young to his credit next pitch in for a strike and one and one righty to the plate Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. That's hard hit on the line. Verdugo makes the grab on the run. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Comes up empty, then strike two. Swing and a miss struck him out. And it's a three up three. Set for the bottom of the third. And stepping in for the Yankees, Oswaldo Cabrera. That's towards center. Isbell brings it in. And there's one down. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. To third. This looks like extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. The throw into second. But he's in there easily. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. So the lineup flips over. Here's Alex Verdugo. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. And that one is lifted in the air. Tracks it down for the out. Runner tags it second. And he's up to third safely with two gone. And now it's Juan Soto. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And there's a rocket into the outfield. In comes the run from third. And they lead by two. The throw in. Tag. Save. Bang, bang, play. That was close. Picks himself up at RBI. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. So two down. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. 
grounded out his first time. Light drive. Brings it in for the third out. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Back after this on the show. Back at Yankee Stadium, start of the fourth, down the third baseman, number 11, Garcia. Cole, back to work. Strike one. Well, these Royals, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at bats, and I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. Strikeouts are a little easier to stomach in baseball today, but even by those standards, they're going down way too often, and I think they're having a hard time getting any momentum going as a result. Kyle Isbell steps in for the Royals. His first at bat was a strikeout. Oh. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Oh, one strike. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. In the air, left field. Verdugo gets under it. Pulls it in, two away. Two outs, space is empty. And next up for the Royals, Bobby Witt Jr. And a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Picks up strength. Bottom four. Here comes Blaber Torres. And the right hander back to work. That's One way ball. outside. Okay. One and oh. Right. And a swing and a miss. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just Woo. terrific bite at the end. One ball. Swing and a miss. And a count. One and two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Just a great slider right there. And I think the key for pitchers and what hitters don't want to see is if a pitcher misses with that pitch, that he misses off the edge of the strike zone rather than in the middle of the strike zone. And right there, excellent execution, and it finished up in a perfect spot. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Base is empty, one away. Here in the third and final game of the series. Started to swing, held up. Oh, this guy's going to have to slow things down. There's no reason for him to even check swing on that pitch. It was never even close. Three balls. That one three in strike. the dirt. Three balls, two strikes. One down, base is empty. And he walked him. Thank you, mate. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional walk, but... He wasn't exactly trying to attack the zone either. Rip to first, caught, dives for the bag, got him! Double. Back for more from the Bronx. We go to the top of the fifth. Now it's going to be Hunter Renfro. Swings through that one for strike one. Well, these Royals, they're not going to be happy with the at-bats they've been having so far. They're in the back half of the game, and they're still searching for a base runner. He's been great out there on the mound, no doubt. It's also been a disappointing performance at the plate to this point. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Fermin batting for the second time, and that's strike one. A big swing and a miss. And as we get deeper, it's not going to get any easier. These at-bats are going to feel more and more desperate with every on the rest of the way. Some high cheese for strike three. Came after him with the fastball on 0-2, and that's a pretty good demonstration of what power pitching is all about. He's got the stuff, obviously, and right there, he used it to put his opponent away without needing to waste any pitches. Next offering is in for a strike. In the air, left field, down the line. Verdugo makes the grab, and that's the inning. The 
pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Next offering is downstairs. It's a good take. That missed by a lot. Now two and two. Wouldn't chase that time. Here comes a pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And the righty deals. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. And the right hander deals. And that one hammered. Renfro ranging back. Pulls it in on the warning track. It's a really good swing. He just didn't get quite enough of it to beat the wind. It's blowing in from right field right now. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. That breaking ball is in for a strike, and quickly it is nothing in two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Really tight light on that slider and just couldn't get the barrel to it out front. You've got to try to pull those hands tight to the body to get it through. And I'm thinking he probably wanted that pitch to end up even more inside to keep it out of the danger zone. But it had enough late break and deception to get the job done. Ripped on a line. Renfro puts it away. And that's the end. And we're back. All set for the top of the sixth. And now, MJ Melendez. And that one fouled off. Righty delivers. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Verdugo puts it away for the out. And there's one down. So digging in, Michael Massey. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Slapped hard the other way, but foul. Pretty frugal guy. He is very efficient with the pitch count in this one. The next offering misses. And the count one and two. Get on the line, and that's a base hit. And that ends the perfect game bid. Throws to second, not in time. He's got a double. He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where he could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there, coming back in that at bat. That one finds the zone, and a count one and one. And it's strike two. They can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left, so expect them to add on to that total. And the pitchers are looking to have a strikeout for any of them. I mean, that's excellent. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's a swing and a miss. That retires the side. Back in New York. Well, we go bottom six. Here's the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. And a good eye there. Nasty backdoor okay. slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So it's a good take by him. Base hit, left center field. And the leadoff man aboard. Juan Soto now, one for two. Hit on the ground, might be two. There's one. And that's two. 
If you blink, you might miss it, and that's the magic of the 5-4-3 double play. It happens so fast, which is a huge reason why this is such a delicate sequence. The entire play will break down if one person has bad timing. Throws the first. We go to the top of the seventh, and here is Kyle Isbell. Pitch misses, and it's 1-0. Oh. Notice how they're swinging too early or too late. That's a timing problem. They need to guess right on a few of those pitches, and I mean make an educated guess. Next up, in there for a strike. That is strike two. Inside just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Next offering upstairs. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Got it by him for the play. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you've got the leadoff hitter, so critical in setting the table when you've got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. The Yankees holding on to a two-run lead here in the third and final game of the series. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Chris, third time through the order, and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Renfro stands in now and watches strike one. That one finds the corner, and it's 0-2. So heat there at 98 miles an hour. Royals bats are quiet there. They're still down. It's 2-zip. A new arm into the game, the righty, Chris Stratton. And he's been hit pretty hard at times this year, so he's looking for better. Right now, giving up more than a hit per inning. Here is Glaber Torres. The pitch. Swing and a miss as he was late. Well, he just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Comes up empty. Well, on the mound, you take a note. You see the hitter's willingness to chase that pitch upstairs. Get deeper in the count. And try to climb the ladder. Got him swinging. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. Wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter, other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. Here's Stanton now. He launched the solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off onto the right foot. And first offering is fouled off. And that one fouled off. Base is empty one away near the bottom of the seventh. That one missed. Movement in the bullpen. Josh Taylor getting loose out there. Hernandez warming up as well. Next pitch is outside. Another ball. Outside, oh, and that is ball four. Well, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. Little chopper rolls foul. Man at first, one away. And the next pitch is way outside. Rip 
to the left center base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Close with that one, ball one. Got a base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seemed to help. Never helped me. Swing and a miss. One and one. I think he was sitting off speed there. Stan on second. Trevino over at first with one away. And he gets tied up right there. You tie a guy up like that, you're feeling like you are in command. Wouldn't chase that time. Here's the 2 2. High in the air, out to right. Renfro in position. Brings it in. Two down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Next to hit, Oswaldo Cabrera. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Two outs, bases loaded. And the batter will be the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. That one is absolutely belted. And that gets down the corner. One runs in. Now the second run is in. And it's 4 nothing. He's in with a double. And that's the second double of the ninth. Well, he was a little off balance. He got the front foot down, but was so great at keeping the hands back and allowed him still to get good wood to this baseball. Big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. Pitcher in the game for the Royals, Daniel Lynch. Well, he's been a really Daniel tough guy to take deep this season. You usually have to string some hits together in order to get to him. Now, here is Alex Verdugo. Renfro going back on this one. Pulls it in on the warning track. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. Now at the plate, Freddie for me. Swings and misses. And Come it's 0-1. On. Cole into his eighth inning of work, Singy. He's been good. Yeah, he's the type of guy that gets better as he gets deeper into the ball game. If you're going to get to him, you get to him early. They didn't do that today. We'll see what happens as this finishes. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Well, they've had a great plan of attack from the night. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because we're going to get around the league in a hurry. So up now for Kansas City, MJ Melendez. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. The wind of the pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top of the eighth. Swings and misses. He's now struck out eight. Bottom of the eighth. And stepping in for the Yankees, Juan Soto. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. Meanwhile. Activity in the bullpen. Josh Taylor appears to be getting loose. Brents also getting ready. Flopper to right field. Way back. Gone. A gigantic blast. It's five zip. That one just sounded different. And yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the boot.
For a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. It's Aaron Judge now. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Hard hit to third. Tosses to first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Glaber Torres up to hit. Both. Misses inside. One ball. And that's ball okay. one. Into center and a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. And a foul ball. Foul ball still 0 and 2. And a pitch. On the ground, could be two. There's one. Oh. And it's a double yeah. play to end the inning. Solo homer extends the Yankees' lead. Last chance coming up for the Royals. Back now in the Bronx. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's the second baseman, huh. Michael Massey right through there for a strike. I mean, his pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead in the count, at times pitch to contact, let the defense work behind him. One That's ball, why he's still strike. in the game here in the ninth inning. Late on that fastball. One ball, you just don't see it that much anymore. A guy being this efficient and getting this deep into the game. I wonder if he's going to be able to close it out. There's just something about that ninth inning. But being at under 100 pitches, he's still got plenty of fuel left in the tank. And that one is lifted in the air. Verdugo makes the grab. One away. And here's the first baseman. Fastball for a strike. No ball. One strike. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Oh, two. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. One down, base is empty. Out towards right center. That's well struck. Judge pulls it in on the run. So the Royals batting order turns over. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals. On the ground, and this should do it. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Kyle Isbell steps in for the Royals. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. That one ripped. And that should be extra bases. Around third. The relay to the plate. Tag. Got him. And that's the ball game. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. 5 nothing. the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.